Hello, Crime Atlas fans. How's your day going? Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Today's video is going to be about what is probable cause and what is probable suspicion. This is not me giving you legal advice because I am not a lawyer and you should not consider this legal advice. This is me just explaining to you what probable cause is and what probable suspicion is because there is a difference between the two. Probable cause to search for evidence or to seize evidence requires that an officer is possessed of sufficient facts and circumstances as would lead a reasonable person to believe that evidence or contraband relating to criminal activity will be found in the location to be searched as with an arrest. If an officer cannot articulate the facts forming the basis for probable cause, the search and seizure will not hold up in court and the judge will not sign the warrant to go get the stuff, whatever the evidence may be. And then probable suspicion is reasonable suspicion is a standard established by the Supreme Court in a 1968 case in which it ruled that police officers should be allowed to stop and briefly detain a person if, based on, upon the officer's training and experience, there is a reason to believe that the individual is engaging in criminal activity. The officer is given the opportunity to freeze their action by stepping in to investigate, unlike probable cause that uses reasonable person standard. Reasonable suspicion is based upon standard of a reasonable police officer. An example of this would be someone swerving in and out of lanes and the officer notices this and has enough reasonable suspicion to think that the person is driving under influence. Then the officer is legally within the law to pull someone over to see if they're under influence and then take actions if they are for example like arrest that person this is different than probable cause because probable cause has to do with arresting the person getting warrants and there are different types of warrants there's arrest warrants search and seizure warrants I just wanted to make this clear because it's a common mistake that some people can mix up these two different things. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave your questions down below in the comment area and I will try my best to answer them. I wanted to address this one topic because it's going to have to do with a lot of the videos I'm going to be making about police officers and why they do what they do. I thought this would be a good jumping off point for me to continue talking about why officers may pull you over or why an officer doesn't need a probable cause for a certain like action that they may take. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe. Everybody has a good day. Peace out.